Well, that's it for The Flash. And, um, yeah, what are you going to say? I mean, <laughs> the sad thing is, as I've often said, The Flash at one point was not a bad show and sometimes was actually pretty good. And then it just fizzled the way of all things CW and uh, became very repetitive and rinse, lather, repeat and phoned in and lazy. Um, it's like, why not? It, it's, yeah, it should have been ended years ago uh, instead of, and, and it, it's worse because it, it like I said, it, it had been good and you let it go very bad. Some of the other CW shows um, is like, uh, what was it? The Legends. Yeah, I watched some of that. And uh, it, it had his goofy charm to it occasionally, but it was just really stupid. And uh, I, it was getting bad for me. <laughs> I think it had a following of some sort, uh, but I, you know, quickly lost interest. Um, but that that was easier because it was always kind of this one. I was like, you know, they, they kind of, you know, it's a silly show, but it, 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 it and they got a little something here and all that. And then, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, so, uh, by the time they ended, I, you know, always thought, well, even if the ending's good, it's going to be too little too late. And that's essentially uh, what happened. Uh, they didn't clutter it with the usual stupid crap. There's some of it in there in these final episodes. Uh, but was there anything of return uh, to what they had achieved in earlier? No. No, there wasn't. And finally, you get to this one and what it, well, it's, you know, the final battle and that sort of thing. And so it, it's all very predictable, and a bunch of the other villains, well, all the speedsters, <laughs> all the evil speedsters returned, uh, Zoom returns, or Black Flash, or whatever the hell he's supposed to be, uh, Savitar returns, and never take the mask off to reveal that's actually Barry Allen in there. <laughs> of course, uh, Reverse Flash, this time the, uh, you know, the fake Harry Wells version, uh, for Kavanaugh to make a final appearance shows up and then Godspeed who you know who cares uh, but they all showed up showed up under the leadership of Eddie Thon's Cobalt Blue um, for whatever reason they didn't give him a mask I thought Cobalt Blue had one but anyway it doesn't matter he kind of has a cheesy 70s Flash Gordon looking suit <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do and uh, so they fight and fight and fight, fight, fight. And uh, Flash has his team. And apparently now uh, Cecile can fly. I guess she's developed telekinesis and all that sort of stuff. And uh, most of the battles are not that great. They did spend a little bit of money on it for their CGI scenes. But, you know, it was CW CGI. So what do you do? And, of course, once again, the entire city is completely empty. So... <laughs> They had a spectacular scene, probably whether they broke the bank on that, where they you know, the Flash gets thrown into some cars and there's explosions and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, so, yeah, his team shows up and they fight him. And uh, Keon, who uh, is a goddess, even though the uh, Zoom acknowledges this and then takes her on and she, without even... You know, breaking a sweat, just lays him low. <laughs> it was stupid to begin with. So, yeah, they win. Uh, at one point, Savitar, who is an evil version of Barry Allen, one of his, you know, remnants or whatever, uh, stabs Nora in the back. But she was phasing as he did it, so it didn't work. So, see, there's there's the trick with that. It was always had that threat of the vibrating hands going to go through and stop your heart or whatever. Well, if you're a speedster, just face. <laughs> so anyway. And uh, meanwhile, Iris is, of course, going into labor. And, of course, she gives birth to little Nora. And uh, little Nora's got to be her own babysitter. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, how does Barry overcome all of this? Uh, well, he joins Eddie in the negative force and just wins him over through... Just a, a, a good, uh, you know, talk. <laughs> but Eddie says, well, still, because Eddie remains the avatar of the negative force, but now he's completely in charge of it. 
And he says, all right, we've come to an agreement, but we won't always see eye to eye on things. And then, you know, Barry, yeah, well, that's how life works, you know? And so there, they're good. Besides, look, Iris was always going to choose Barry, Eddie, because, you know, Barry was willing to sleep with her. Anyway, so uh, the, <laughs> come on. <laughs> so that's how they uh, resolve that. They have a little baby shower type well not i guess like you do that before the baby's born whatever and the family get together and then joe uh looks like he's gonna give one of his you know wise old man uh speeches but instead he pops the question to uh cecile which i thought they had already gotten married but i are i guess not i uh, i you know it's funny how i forget things about this show <laughs> it's almost as if i stopped paying attention in total so anyway, they're getting married. Yay, it's all great. And then uh, Keon's got to go into heaven or whatever. So she ascends and explodes <laughs> and poops out uh, Caitlyn. So uh, since she's gone off to be a goddess, uh, what's left of the body that these personalities all share is back to being Caitlyn. So she was never really dead, if you ask me, you know, but whatever. But Frost is still dead. So uh, it sucks for, you know mark her you know frosty boyfriend or whatever but hey maybe there's a future for them and caitlin i don't know but so uh so yay everything's happy no cisco uh they couldn't get him to come back just for a cameo so huh what happened there you know <laughs> but anyway that's how it did oh the flash runs around and decides to shoot his lightning bolts <laughs> to create other uh, speedsters and he makes some nods to characters in dc comics you would know max mercury is this guy whom they purchased i think from quality comics it was originally quicksilver <laughs> but you can't use that word anymore because of marvel so they renamed him max mercury yeah yeah so uh, and a couple others i'm forgetting but yeah they're part of the comics too so uh he's gonna share the speed force with other people who he just Looks like he just randomly picked, but he knew their names, so I guess he did some research or whatever. Because, you know, you'd be a good candidate for this. Whatever. It, it's over. And, um, again, the sad part about it is that it was once a good show. And uh, if they could have just, I think, eliminated the amount of episodes they had for the material they had available and ended this show years, a couple of years ago, uh, that would have been a much better send-off and much respectful because somebody somewhere had done some fairly good work with what they had. And that's unfortunate. But there it is. That's it for The Flash. Except, oh, there's more to come. Yes, that's right. There is The Flash movie with Ezra Miller. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> hey, look, it's got a lot of Batman in it, so it's got that going for you. Um, Seems the projections have been downgraded as I tape this. Uh, they were looking at $130 million opening weekend, but, you know, they decided, hey, wait a minute, let's temper that down to $70 million. <laughs> So if it, if, if it makes $80 million, they'll, oh, man, we're hot. <laughs> yeah. So, gee, I, I wonder what happened. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's that as for anything... Uh, future for the Flash in the horizon for DCU, well, that'll just have to, uh, to be determined or to be continued.